Hello everyone, this is Srinivasa from Informatica GCS and today I'm going to discuss about uh, the topic Installing SSN Entry for MDM. So the agenda for today's topic is uh, SSN Entry Overview and uh, presets for the installation um, and the commands that will be used uh, to bring up the SSN Entry Server uh, and the other commands uh, uh, to launch the GUI tools like Workbench and uh, Population Override Manager. And following that will be uh, the installation demo. So SSN N3. So SSN N3 uh, it is actually a software tool uh, that enables application programs to search, match records and databases using people's names, organization names, addresses, uh, dates and other identification data. SSN N3 enables high quality search and matching despite the unavoidable variation and error that normally occurs in name address and other identification data. SSN entry also supports the implementation of critical searches that are designed not only to overcome this natural error, but also to discover the intentional variation and uh, error introduced by people uh, who are attempting to defeat uh, or fraudulently avoid the controls built in uh, such systems. A business application uh, pro program simply calls uh, this is an entry runtime uh, routine to invoke the services uh, in the real time scenarios. Uh, the runtime routine is supplied as a D DLL, uh, a shared library or uh, a, lo a load module, depending on the platform and also as a server process. So, SSN entry can be used by applications in both online and uh, batch environments. SSN entry software uh, will enable an organization to use standard set of tools designs and strategies to satisfy all uh, varying name search and matching needs of the organization. SSN entry is packaged with over uh, 50 standard population uh, rule sets uh, approximately for different countries and languages. These rule, rule sets contain uh, the rules that a typical user will require uh, to deliver reliability and performance in their uh, search and matching applications and uh, the richness uh, of standard population uh, rule set uh, allows applications to be insulated uh, from the complexity of dealing with inevitable variation and error that will exist in name address and identification data so uh, recognizing that there are different types of search applications uh, from customer lookup to duplicate prevention and uh, fraud investigation so the application can choose different types and uh, levels of searching and different purposes, levels and thresholds for matching through the API. These tuning options are easily understood and implemented. To address the need, a user uh, may have to add some custom rules, for example, to cater for certain types of abbreviations used only in their data, two levels of uh, GA tools uh, like edit rule wizard that is actually called ERW tool intended for the business user uh, where they can actually edit some rules uh, they can avoid certain words or override or replace words uh, this tool will be useful and population override manager is basically uh, you will actually you can customize your purpose and basically or basically uh, you are trying to uh, edit your population file and the workbench tool uh, that helps a programmer to prototype SSN entry calls and now let's try to uh, look at the prerequisites for the SSN entry installation so to use these tools for I mean first we need to install um, uh, Java 64-bit uh, JDK or JRE and we need to set uh, the following environment variables um, so SSA talk uh, is the home uh, uh, path of the SSN M3 after you install resource kit you'll be able to find uh, the folder called SSN M3 so in following that uh, you need to set JRE home and SSA N3 port uh, which is 1665 and of course it should be available uh, to check if the port is available or it is being used with any other application and after that we need to modify um, uh, we need to we need to modify the batch files um, uh, in the in the following batch files. Now let's look at the um, uh, resource kit, resource kit uh, home home path where this is an M3 folder is present. 
so we are ins we are inside infinite player and uh, so after you install a uh, resource kit um, we'll be able to uh, find uh, the folder called resource kit here and inside this you'll have uh, various folders and one of them is ssn in 3 uh, so this is how it looks like and uh, these are all the uh, folders uh, that it will create and you'll find a readme file uh, where uh, we are uh, we need to follow uh, each and every step inside it uh, to, um, to to get the uh, ssn entry installed properly now let's try to uh, follow uh, follow all these uh, steps and uh, try to modify these uh, batch files uh, one at a time uh, and we'll try to install the application so now I'm trying to uh, open all these batch files, uh, which will be present inside as a CNM3 ENV. Uh, ENV is basically, or basically called environment variables, uh, where you want to edit these files. And you want to remove all the uh, dollar symbol uh, as a special character mentioned in the readme file. So after I have opened these files, uh, I need to modify uh, uh, these lines where the dollar symbol is present. I basically want to remove them. Uh, I'll remove them. So here as the SSA top, I want to give um, the, the home path of this is an entry, which is uh, SSN entry. So now that I have set all the environment variables uh, related to this is a top and I've removed all the uh, dollar symbols, the special characters uh, out of all these batch files uh, which are present inside uh, env folder. Now let's go to the bin directory and uh, select uh, the remaining batch files uh, which, is, uh, which is present here uh, in the readme file. So we want to open um, these files actually. So these are all the uh, batch files, workbench, um, and I've replaced uh, the dollar symbol with this is a top. So similarly, I have replaced for P1, which is population override manager, N3, which is name three server up name three server down and edit rule wizard so all these files are replaced uh, accordingly uh, with environment variables now let now let's try to um, launch this server so to launch the servers uh, and the uh, gui tools uh, you basically uh, need to use these uh, commands so after installing ssn m3 um, and modifying the uh, batch files accordingly with the respective environment variables. So here is M3 up, which will actually bring up the server. Uh, this is an M3 server. Um, and M3 down, uh, this is the command uh, which you want to run, which will draw bring down the server. Um, and ERW, so if you want to bring up the edit rule wizard uh, UI tool, you need to run this uh, batch file after going inside the bin directory. And similarly, population override manager, uh, we need to run this batch file. And for the workbench, we need to run this uh, workbench uh, batch file. So now let's try to um, uh, lo launch this server. So now uh, I'm inside the, the home directory, uh, inside the bin path. Now uh, the command um, then it, that actually currently my server is already up. Let me bring down the server and uh, bring it up. So for that I'm using n3 down command. So now I'm, I'm bringing up the server uh, with the command n3 up. So this will bring up a separate window uh, which is SSN n3 server on local host uh, 
1665 so this is my host name and this is the port uh, that was available for me um, so now the command that I need to use uh, to bring up the edit tool wizard population order and management in the workbench so let me launch the workbench so this is how uh, we, we launch uh, the workbench and when you click enter workbench and uh, we will see um, we will be able to connect to the local host and um, so currently I have only one population file uh, which I have copied it um, which, is the which is the demo population and when I click OK so I will be able to see all um, the various options uh, where match, ranges, keys and if you want to see the version of the population file you can just go to open and click call which will actually give you uh, the entire version that it is being used so currently the version is version of this is an entry uh, sorry version of this population file is 10.1 so these are you check the version as well so now let's try to launch the edit, edit root wizard and population overhead manager so to open population overhead manager this is the command i'm using we go into batch file which will actually ask uh, for a prompt to open it like this so you can click enter population order manager you can connect to the local host and of course i will be able to start the system and I have only one population file so far so click ok so you, it is asking you to select field overrides or purpose overrides it is based on your use if uh, you want to override any purpose you can select this purpose for example i'll select organization and so you cannot edit the existing you want to clone it um, so that it will create a new one so for example I'll clone this I can select specific fields I want to clone if you want all or if you want to clone specifically and you can just give all organization underscore sample which will create the same way in the uh, as the purpose um, and all the fields that I've checked in will come in all over so now as you now you see in the drop down I got this or underscore sample now I will be able to edit this rule edit this purpose so, so this is how uh, you'll be able to uh, launch the population override manager and uh, let's try to uh, open the edit rule wizard So I click enter edit rule wizard and next demo population file person name. So here you can import uh, the word list or you can insert a line, uh, a word or a phrase you want to override or replace uh, any rule. Um, and you can add a can add a rule after you import uh, the file. So this is how um, you install SSN in three uh, for MDM. So to, in order to install SSN in three, of course, uh, first you need to install Resource Kit, where we'll be able to find uh, all these folders. Where will we find all these folders after you install Resource Kit? Um, so this is the demonstration and um, if you would like to give your feedback you can uh, use the um, support videos at informatica.com or through this following link and, and thank you uh, for watching this video and uh, please uh, give your feedback thanks.